Richard Bean, the playwright who penned the hilarious One Man, Two Governors, has got a new show on the boards. This one is about snooker, a British take on pool. The Nap is a fast-paced comedy that focuses on Dylan Spokes, a snooker-playing prodigy. The production opened at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater, and the stars stepped out to celebrate the big night. It's like a, a kind of British white trashy farce with live uh, sport in it. We had the assignment of taking this incredible British play, but about a very British subject, and sort of figuring out how to translate it to an American audience, and so things were changing. But uh, this is such a good company that it was really a pleasure to work on. I've never mounted a play when so much has grown and so much has been tailored to what's happening in the room amongst the people, you know? And so it's been wild, man, really wild. Richard Bean has given us some really, really funny, funny jokes and some lines, and we get to just like fill it. And the audiences have been out of this world. There was definitely a lot of anxiety about having to referee a snooker match. Yeah. But once you start watching the game on YouTube and you learn the rules, it is so much fun. Yeah. And it's so easy to fall into the YouTube rabbit hole, watching snooker match after snooker match. I'm sure you've done it. The Nap marks the Broadway debut of Transparent star Alexandra Billings, who reveals what it is about the play that drew her to the Great White Way. It was super funny. It's super funny. It's super silly. And second of all, the transgender characters and talking about transitioning and I'm not in the hospital and no one's dying and I'm not dying and you're not so it wasn't about that the transgender aspect of my life is secondary to the fact that I'm a gangster when it comes to live theater anything can happen this sentiment is particularly true for the nap which has alternate endings based on an actual snooker match that takes place in the show. Well, at first that was a little frightening, and then you realize that the audience is actually shocked and really into the idea that a sport is being played in front of them that they can smell it, it, it's spontaneously happening and could go wrong. And I uh, just watched the monitor like, oh, I can't take it, I can't take it, I can't take it. I've got little kind of ulcers and cancers growing in my stomach just from watching two weeks of this. Yeah, uh, yeah it's a bit scary and I don't know why I wrote it, but I, I think there's a, a, a pleasure and a joy in not knowing what's going to happen. We always have to just push toward what we think the ending is supposed to be and what we want for the characters and, um, and then we just hope that Ben and Ahmed do something right. <laughs> I don't like to lose yeah. and uh, to lose or try to lose every night, you know, like uh, it's tough. I go home and definitely I remember every shot and how I scratch. The first night that something went wrong, I think we all realized, oh, the show's going to go on. We're going to roll with it and we're going to improvise and we're going to make it work. And once that happened and we realized that the earth didn't stop spinning, it was, it's just been fun, man. It's been really fun. Everybody's really embraced it. Last night, one of the players knocked the cue ball off the table and into the front row of the audience. And that gave us about five minutes of material. Uh, you, know, you, you don't know that you're gonna be improving on Broadway till a cue ball falls into a subscriber's lap. See The Nap at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater through November 11th.